Mike Schmaltz here for GoXavier.com, here with Xavier head women's soccer coach Woody Sherwood. You fight tonight to a nil-nil draw in double overtime with the Cincinnati Bearcats in quite a turn against this team from last season when Bearcats really got the best of you and got after you early. This year you were able to fight them to a nothing-nothing draw. And this is what this game should look like. And uh, it's a great crowd tonight, and certainly to last year, we were never in that game. Um, we weren't really competitive, and uh, we've been thinking about that for 364 days. Certainly, you can see they're very hard to play against. Uh, they're great in the air. The seven's a different level player for us to keep her off the scoreboard like we did. Great testament what we've done in the last 12 months here. That was Danielle Rotherham for Cincinnati. She got eight shots away, but just two on goal. And she just really is able, that type of player, that the technical ability just to create her own opportunities in space. And I thought you had some good defensive pressure on her all night. We did, and we were aware of it and you know, had good double teams we needed to and you know, forced her in some tough shots. And that's what you have to do to stay in games with players like that. 27 shots for the Bearcats, 10 for your Musketeers. Rachel Pickus, your keeper, 13 saves tonight. Very solid effort. She made some very strong plays and some aggressive saves at times. She did. She played bigger than her size, and we saw they have three or four kids who are really good in the air um, that are dangerous on the set pieces and corners. And with our backs, mids, and Pickus, we defended it pretty well. Solid defensive effort as well. Kabashigawa, I mean, we can name pretty much everybody across your defensive front, really had a touch in, in a solid play tonight. Yeah, and taking into consideration we played Friday night. These guys you see had played Thursday. So for us to have that, that turnaround and then last two overtimes against a really physical, aggressive team, another great testament to our group. Young group here for you. This is a good test for them moving into conference play. What kind of lessons can they learn from this effort tonight? Well, UC is a Big East team. They were a Big East team. Um, they've got some of those players that, that we'll face. So I think it's a great last game going into now our opener with DePaul because we're going to see some teams that are like that. You get a homestand coming up. It'll be DePaul followed by Providence. Talk about how excited you are to start this conference season. You're getting back to 0-0-0 zero, zero, zero after a decent non-conference. Um, we're excited to, to see what happens here. The Big East has come back down to earth, it looks like, a little bit. And right now it looks like anybody can end up pretty much anywhere in the conference. Coach, we'll see you back next time. Musketeers move to 5-3-1 and one in the non-conference. Big East play up next. Join us next time at GoZavier.com.